Hello and welcome. This is Tim Shank. And I'm Brian McAvoy. This is Two Cyborgs and a Microphone. What are you drinking today, Tim? Gin and water. Ah, Just plain today? gin and water. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't know. Brian, you know me. I, I'm I'm I like I have simple tastes. Just gin and fizzy water. It's great. It's summer, so I'm drinking an Arnie Palmer out of my two cyborgs mug. Are there two cyborgs glasses? I would like something like that on there, so we should check that out and put it on there. Well, I know what to get you for Christmas. So this episode, we're going to talk about DEF CON, a convention that Brian went to at the end of August. Brian, tell us what DEF CON is. DEF CON is the world's biggest collection of hackers. People get together from anywhere and everywhere to get together and talk about what they do. There are different villages in DEF CON, from packet hacking to IoT hacking, all these different talks going on. So it's not specifically software and computer hacking. Correct. So most of my time I spent in the biohacking village, which of course has some things to do with computer hacking, but not a lot. The people I spent my time with at the biohacking village were just some of the most amazing people I've ever met. They were all passionate about their field, whether it was do-it-yourself bio, healthcare, grinding, implants, podcasting. I spent most of the time with the Dangerous Minds podcast crew, Cooper and Cursor. We actually wound up sharing a hotel room just because it was cheaper. Nice. Nice. Did you meet anyone famous? I did meet a couple big names. The first one I met was Captain Crunch. If you don't know that name, just just look him up. Look up. He's like the first hacker, right? I mean, I mean, there was no such thing as hacking before he did his thing with that whistle, right? I mean, he's, he's a big name. If, if you don't know him, I'm guessing you're like under 25. And if you're over 25, you probably know this guy, maybe not by appearance, but you've definitely heard of what he's done. And if you've looked into hacking and the history of it, specifically phone hacking, freaking, his name's going to come up a lot. He's the guy that, that found the, the, the toy whistle that was in Captain Crunch would give you free phone calls, right? Right. It emitted the 2600 hertz frequency that was used to initiate uh, group calling. 2600 is also where the magazine gets its name from, the 2600 Hacker Quarterly. Did you talk to him? Yeah. I, I walked right up to him, and he, he's in declining health, so he was on a little scooter. But yeah, I was able to just you know walk up to him and, and introduce myself and tell him it was, you know, it was really cool to meet him, and he just, you know, Shot the shit with me for a little bit. What'd you guys talk about? We talked about the book he's coming out with. Uh, there's going to be a Kickstarter for it. It's called Beyond the Blue Box because, as I said, the 2600 frequency that when you generate that, it's called Blue Box. I only attended one talk, and it was by Cory Doctorow. He was talking about DRM and what it meant to own something, about when something belongs to you, you know, you are allowed to give it away. You're allowed to sell it. It's yours. You can do what you want with it. He's from Boing Boing, right? Yeah. Cory Doctorow is definitely of Boing Boing fame. He also has his own blog, Crap Hound, and he's written numerous fiction books about hacking, including Little Brother, which I'm partway through right now. When he writes, he has this ability to take real-life computer hacking techniques and terms and philosophies and really break them down in a way that anyone can understand. So after his speech, I was back at the biohacking village and I was talking to somebody in the line as I was a bouncer and we were just talking about Cory Doctorow's views on property and body autonomy as it relates to biohacking. And as we were talking about this, Cory Doctorow walks out of the biohacking village. And of course I turn to him like, dude, we're talking about you. We were talking about what you talked about this morning, and he sat there and talked with us for a few minutes about why body autonomy and recognizing property is so important. It's really super cool to talk with him. That sounds great. What other events did you, did you check out while you were there, Brian? Hackaday did a morning breakfast on Sunday where they just invited people to come in, pick up some of their swag, show off their current project. And I was able to meet Brian Benkoff, one of the writers, and Mike, the editor-in-chief, and I was also showing off a project, which I haven't put on my blog yet, but it's a customized keyboard for OpenSCAD. It allows you to change vectors live right in the program. Weren't you just in Hackaday? Are you thinking of Magpie? I'm thinking of Magpie. That's what I'm thinking of. So were, was anybody doing implants at the convention? Well, it was more about the people getting implanted. One, they were super excited. Like they were really eager to either get their first implant or add to their list of implants. One guy uh, actually turned out to be from Minnesota. Actually, I think he was from St. Paul. He was just so excited and he, he got his implant and we wound up just 
not really partying with him, but he and I and the Dangerous Minds crew, we wound up just uh, going out to eat. And he was nice enough to pay for our dinners. He got an NFC implant, and by coincidence, there was an electrical storm outside. So we went and, and watched an electrical storm as we all had, you know, electrical-based implants, which I thought that was appropriate. That is fun. I really, really had a lot of fun at DEF CON. I enjoyed meeting all the people. There were so many people just excited to learn about this stuff or to learn more or to speak about it themselves. There were people building cool projects. There were so many unique badges, custom ones with interesting light patterns, one that flew. There was a quadcopter badge, a custom badge. It was pretty far out, and I got to see that in action. Nice. Thank you, everyone, for listening. We'd like to invite everyone to email us at cyborgs at twocyborgs.com. You can also shoot either of us an email at tim at twocyborgs.com or brian at twocyborgs.com. Also check out our site. It's twocyborgs.com. Check out our cafe press store where you can get swanky hooded t-shirts, coffee cups, and many other interesting and awesome stuff. Support our podcast and you can stay warm and toasty and caffeinated while you're doing it. This is Tim Shank. I don't have one of the hoodies. It's shameful. I need to go get one. Soon, Tim. Soon. And check out and see if they have some tumblers there. I'm going to get one. When we get off this, I'll have one. I'm going to have one. I'm going to go order it right now at at our Two Cyborgs Cafe Press site. This is Brian McAvoy. You've been listening to Two Cyborgs and a Microphone. Brought to you by Cyborgs, who totally have microphones. Like, follow, share, plus one, and don't forget to subscribe on any of the popular podcast services, including Google Play Music, iTunes, and Stitcher. Commenting on iTunes is very important. It helps us move up that podcast ladder, so please do. Yeah, if you can't contribute financially, just leave us a comment. That helps us a lot, too. And like all the other cool kids, we're also on Twitter, at 2Cyborgs.